blade and quill. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Due to uh, multiple requests, I am launching a new series of tutorials that will focus on uh, brushes. This new set of videos will be aimed at beginners, but it could also be used as a refresher course. This is my tentative plan for this new series. You can take a screenshot if you want, that way you will know what to expect. I download all my brushes from Krita's resources page. I will include the link in the description box. Here you will find many options. Let's see what happens when you click on some of these brush bundles. When you click on Ramon Miranda's brush pack, you will be redirected to this page. To download the brushes, click on the icon located in the upper right corner of your screen. You will follow the same process when you click on the concept and illustration pack. Now look at these three packs. When you click on the download button located here, a window will appear. If I'm not mistaken, you will need to join a DeviantArt or login, obviously if you are already a member, to access these particular packs. This is annoying because I don't know about you, but I really don't want to join DeviantArt. So how do we get these brushes then? If any of you watching this video today uh, knows how to get these brush packs without having to join uh, DeviantArt, <laughs> please make sure to share your wisdom with all of us in the comment area. We will all appreciate it. Now let's click on the uh, modular brush set. As you can see, we are redirected to the artist's uh, web page. You will need to scroll down the page to find uh, the downloads uh, links. They are located below the installation instructions. Click here to download the latest version. I believe you will enjoy the Wolvera pack. When you click on it, you will see that you can actually download four different bundles. The download links can be found under each banner. Finally, uh, let's look uh, at the uh, GD Quest pack. You will find uh, the download link right here. Now please understand that uh, he offers a free light version. If you want uh, the premium version, you will need to click on this link. <laughs> then you will have to pay 20 euros uh, to get it. Uh, that's not cheap. I am going to show you one way to download and install a brush bundle in Krita. I am not a computer genius, so my way of doing things may not be the best, the most important is that it works. We are going to install the Nile Nook brush set. When you click on the pack, it will take you to the artist's web page. We are offered two sets of brushes. One is named Art Pen and the other is called the Generic Pen. That's the one we want. To download the bundle, click on the image. The file will be downloaded to your computer and a box will appear at the bottom left of your screen. Double click on it. Very briefly, you will see it says Opening. Launch your file explorer and go to the downloads folder. We want to move the newly downloaded file to its proper place. To do so, we are going to cut it from this place first. You can right click on it and select cut or you can use the keyboard shortcut uh, Ctrl X. Now go to the main C drive and double click on it. Double click on users double click on your name, 
double click on app data double click on roaming now find the Kritas folder and double click on it. We want to move our brush bundle into the bundles folder, so double click on it. We can now paste our file, right click and choose paste or use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl V. And here it is. That was a long way to get here, but hey, it works, that's all that matters. Now open Krita if it's not already opened. Go to the settings and choose uh, manage resources. A new window will appear. Let's take a closer look. We have uh, two top panes. One is where all your live brush sets are located and the other is where you'll put aside brush sets that you don't want to be active. You can move one or more bundles of brushes from one place to another. To do this, you will need first to click on the bundles of your choice and then use the arrows between the two panes. To view what is inside a specific brush pack, simply click on it and its content will appear in the resource window. Click on the Import Bundles button. Choose our newly downloaded set and click Open or press Enter. The new set will appear at the bottom of the Active Bundles pane. Now please note that if you click on it, you will not see its content yet. For the content to appear, we will need to restart Krita. So let's close this window and close Krita. Restart Krita. Go to the settings and manage resources. And now, as you can see, when I click on our new set, the content appears in the resource window. This set contains 7 brush stamps and 25 brush presets. Now look, all the brush names start with Nal Nook. This is going to be very helpful when we are looking for them. Click F5 to get to the brush settings. Now click on the middle tab, the one called Predefined. This is where all the brush stamps are located. Usually when you add or create a new brush stamp, it is moved toward the bottom of the pane. So uh, let's uh, scroll down until we find our seven Nile Nook brush stamps. And here is the first one. Let me check very quickly and count. All right, they are all here. First, click on the freehand brush icon to activate it. Now click here to get to the list of brush presets. As you already know, brushes are organized under tags. To find our brushes, we will need to click on the tag All. Now the only thing left to do is scroll down this pane until we find the first Nile Nook brush. And here it is, <laughs> the rest is below. Now that you have your new set of brushes, you will need to test them. It's important that you find out which brushes you will like the most and which ones you will like the least. Obviously, <laughs> you don't have to try them all at once. Just take your time and in the next few days, keep creating simple paintings just like this one. When uh, testing brushes, you don't have to worry about uh, creating a masterpiece or a chef dœuvre as we say in French. Uh, I mean, come on, <laughs> check this one out here. It's pretty hideous, but uh, thanks to this little ugly guy, or that little ugly thing, I was able to find the brushes that I didn't like. On the other hand, uh, I was also able to find the perfect brush, and uh, believe me, I will make sure to move it to my favorite tag.
and we are done for today. <laughs> now, I hope this little tutorial was helpful. Next week, I will show you how to organize them. So I'll see you next Monday. Until then, uh, keep practicing and uh, have fun painting. <laughs> Au revoir et à bientôt. <laughs>